In this fast-paced modern world, Japan is taking time out to help children prepare for a better tomorrow. Mealtime at elementary school is an event, not just an opportunity to fill the stomach. It's part of the education process, where the children are taught about the food they're eating and where it comes from. The marinated salad has cabbage, carrot, bean sprouts, Japanese mustard spinach harvested in a dachi city and peanut paste. The nutritionist here is not a special guest, she's a full-time member of the teaching staff. On the menu today there is rice, which is of course a staple of the Japanese diet, fish, which is great for brain development and fresh seasonal vegetables. They try very hard not to include too much fat, salt or sugar. And the best thing, the children seem to enjoy it. There are no snacks after the meal and no canteen to buy extras. What they're served is what they eat, and there aren't many complaints. I like the vegetables and the toasted soy flour, things we don't get at home but we do at school. The meals are prepared on site using fresh ingredients. The cost to parents is less than $3 a meal. Schools in the Tokyo suburb of Adachi used to have some of the highest obesity rates in Japan until they embraced the government's healthy eating program and developed it even further. The health of the children has improved and now they're the envy of others. Many municipal governments come to visit us and ask us to explain our program. Two years ago we had 30 cases and last year they were 20. Their meals created such a buzz they decided to publish a cookbook with the recipes and so far it's sold more than 70,000 copies. They're also cooking the meals for local government staff to buy in their cafeteria. The health of Japanese children isn't perfect and officials admit it's getting harder to convince them to resist fast food. But obesity rates have been dropping for the last seven years and that's something not many countries can claim. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Tokyo.